sure everything is working as intended. I te my screen keeps flashing, which oh my gosh. One second, guys. I think I might be having a couple technical issues. We're going to go back to the starting screen. I think we're good to go. Uh-oh. Maybe not. I see that my... Switch back to my computer. Figure this out. Now, why isn't my Elgato... Okay. That looks good. I switch back. Please do not flicker. Please do not flicker. But one thing. All right, I think we're good to go. What's up, everybody? My name's Awaken Cloud. I also go by just Awakened or Cloud. And I am going to play my favorite Banjo Kazooie game, which is Banjo Nuts and Bolts. Incredibly underrated title. A lot of people dislike this game because it is not a platformer. A lot of them haven't even played it. But as far as gameplay goes, it's top notch. So. We're just going to start from the start. See what's up. Look at how this starts. Once upon a time, there lived a heroic bear called Banjo, a rather loud bird called Kazooie, and an unpleasant witch called Gruntilda. Oh, I like this narrator. When Banjo's sister was kidnapped. The bear and bird rescued her from the depths of the witch's lair, overcoming many perils and speech impediments to send Gruntilda tumbling to her doom. But she was nothing if not persistent, and surprising nobody, the old hag soon rose from her grave for round two. Our brave heroes once again stood in her way, and this second showdown ended just as badly for Gruntilda, who really should have quit while she was ahead. Many years have passed, and peace reigns in Spiral Mountain. So what became of the bear? The bird, Banjo got the obese. I remember this part. Eats the sunshine and not a care in the world. Kazooie's a gamer. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, she's still there. She's just ahead, okay. It's kind of crazy to think there's been more time between now and this game being created than the original in this game being created, essentially. So as you can see, Banjo, uh, oh my gosh, he's calling Kazooie unfit. Oh, Kazooie is bigger. Huh. <laughs> okay. This game's already pretty good. He's not wrong, they are second rate game characters. Grabbed by the ghoulies joke, I got that. Bella your differences, you'll put times of my choice. And the winner goes to Spiral Mountain. Ooh, okay. Oh, I'm like Naruto's wallet. That's cool. Go. Yes. Do, doing what old rare games did best. Pointless collectibles. All right. Oh my God, she's beating me. She is, go, run. Too painful to watch. We're done with it. I can't even call it a tutorial because we haven't actually gotten to the actual part of the game yet. Let's go! my moves from the previous game. Let's go. Grabs the cool looking one.
Okay. So I don't think I'm gonna go for a hundred percent. I've already hundred percent this game once. I'll try to get as much stuff as possible. Well, I shouldn't even say as much stuff as possible, but I'll try to get a decent amount of stuff. Really, my goal with this one is just to showcase how amazing this game is. So this is Showdown Town. I'm exploring the town, look for doors which lead to gaming worlds of my own creation. Okay. play your daft game when you're still- okay. By using this, okay, what are you gonna give us? Oh, that's right, we have the wrench! What's a that cat is kinda cute. Oh. Well, come on, join me. <laughs> the spider net. Okay, let's go. Now hold down the right trigger to pick up objects and release it to drop them. Pick up the mumbo crate and take it to the skull faced gentleman over there. right? The mumbo. Great contain parts to build vehicles in order to play the game. Okay. There you use left stick to look through parts in mumbo crate. When bored of looking, press B to continue. Okay. It gave me some stuff. Taxi seat, tray. So the interesting thing is, like, you get parts for your vehicle, and each one has a strength and a weight. So, depending on what type of vehicle you're trying to build, that's very important. Bring back the crates from Mumbo and st Okay. Yep. Come with Mumbo into the garage. We make something useful from simple parts. Okay. I remember this song. Lord of Games say Bear need to rebuild smashed up vehicle master mechanic. Okay. The text of this game goes really fast. So I need a tray. So essentially this is the um, vehicle building screen. So I just do this. Put that in place. Need wheels next, press B button. Okay. Go to wheels. Standard. Two. And we're trying to make something symmetrical. Symmetrical vehicle making is very important in this game, otherwise you're gonna end up with end up with something lopsided. It doesn't drive very well. Mumbo impressed, and I think Super Bear would get so far. Okay. Now I need to have a seat. It goes on the back of the vehicle. Very nearly done. Two more parts needed. Trolley need to power to move. Press B button to... Okay. 
power, engines, small. So this is the one tricky thing, figuring out which direction to put this, because it does matter. Engine need fuel to work. Press B button, fuel, small. We're just gonna put that in the front. Vehicle complete and Mumbo taken aback. Okay. Bear can make vehicles in garage at any time, but now it's time to start playing game. Okay, cool. And probably upside down, no need to panic. Bear need to stay next to it and press LT. Very get used to trolley lo okay. Press Y to get in or out of the vehicle. Easy enough. Okay. Pull right trigger to accelerate and left trigger to brake. You've downloaded my lost challenges. Let me find a little... Okay. Oh. Right now... We're just gonna drive around town and get a couple of these notes. Quite enough messing around. Drive your trolley around to the bottom of the hill and climb the winding path to my factory so that I can get this wonderful game properly started. Okay. So. Okay. I've got to figure out how to get over there. Take a note of the map in your lower right corner as it displays... Things of interest at the moment. Okay. It goes so fast, I can't read it. Like, I can't read it out loud, at least. I wonder if that's something I can change. Control settings, display settings, audio settings. No, they're pretty minimalist with the um, settings in this game. I see you've discovered a warp. Not much to use at the moment, but if you find another one, you'll be able to travel instantly between them. Okay. Good enough. And this is where I deposit the jiggies. Say this game is aged pretty well. It still looks pretty good for a 360 game. It's not even a super late 360 game. It's 2008, so that's like almost like it's a little bit earlier than halfway through the system's life cycle. to get out of the vehicle to speak with people. <laughs> Looks like it. Very well, listen, these are the game globes. They become available when you bank enough jiggies. But as you don't have any jiggies yet, I'll grant the first game globe for free. Placing the globe on its plinth. Plinth. That's some English right there. Will unlock one of the most one of the fabulous game worlds of my creation. Okay. Be careful not to lose game globe, otherwise you'll have to come back up and get another one. Okay. Enough. So I use LT. I think it, no, RT. 
RT. Put that in. Get in here. All I gotta do is drive down this hill. Alright. We got it. Out of my way. Open nuts. Now, I don't remember what all of these doors do. Because I know the worlds are more spread out than that. Wonderful. The first game world is now activated. Each game world has several acts where jiggies can be won. And each door leads to a different act. You'll notice that each door requires a set number of jiggies to open. I like to think of it as a classic banjo homage. The jiggy total required is shown above the door, so you'll need that number of jiggies to open it. You can see the Act 1 door. This game world is now open, so take a look inside to see where it is. That's where your first jiggy is located. I'm going to check one thing. I have to switch to my PC input real quick. Make it sure everything's working correctly. Looks like it. Okay. Back to the game. Okay, let's, let's do this. Nutty Acres act... They're different acts. Okay. I'm trying to remember the overall structure of this game. So it's kind of cool how they, I guess, give previous characters, like, their own cameos. Ah, uh, Trophy Thomas. to Nutty Acres Farm. It's actually quite famous. This is where you grow the toughest, most resilient coconuts in the world. It does look really nice. Like, this is a really good HD game. Or an early HD game. Speaking of unusually dense nuts, isn't that clunko? What's with the jiggy over his head? No, you really have to get out of the vehicle. That's a choice. <laughs> he left the nest. He's not under Gl Grunty's rule anymore. So, potentially, anytime anybody has a jiggy over their head, they have a challenge for me. Dig fire down on farm and nuts burn easily. Very good to farm for harvest go up and smoke. This is fine in theory. Even if I wanted to help, I've lost my talent trot. Look at arrows on Matt. Okay. This is a log's choice game. Log has created a specific contraption for the game, and you have to use it. Okay. 
I like how B is just wimp out. Like, oh, you're a punk. Uh, you're not good enough. Oh. I thought it was going to give me, like, a actual objective. Like, hey, save five coconuts or something like that. Okay. Let me just go here. It said something about arrows on the map, but I don't see any. Can I get in this way? Oh, crap. I need to get in through the back, don't I? Who wants sausage? Could be a bit overcooked, but at least bear not get trots. Okay. Oh, he was literally driving over here? Okay. And I probably could have gone through that front gate now that I look. Okay, let's redo it. How do I redo it? Somebody do that in five seconds with the default vehicle. Challenge playable again anytime. Okay. Yeah, let's do that again. I can definitely get the, um, better trophy. Bad. I'm trying to figure out the fastest freaking way. Oh, this vehicle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh no! Make it through the door. Oh no, I jumped out at the wrong time. Okay. Stop talking, stop talking, okay. button. So we're just going to drive around for a little bit and get some of the jiggies. I will go ahead and say it's been a minute since I've played this game. Jinjo Fetch. This is Jinjo Fetch challenge. Listen to the description, find the lost item, and bring it back. You'll earn a Jinjo token, which could mean big prizes at the Bingo Palace in Showdown Town. <laughs> Antique Banjo, it's been family for generations. Around Mumbo's Nuts yesterday, and I haven't seen it since. He said it was around Mumbo's place, so... Is this on a time limit? How does this work? Oh! 
survive. I break these. Maybe not. Might as well collect these. It really doesn't matter too much. if he would give me a hint, but it doesn't look like it. Jinjo said it lost its, um... It's Banjo. Around here somewhere. Oh, Mumbo's Nuts is over here. I just kind of assumed since Mumbo was over there that Mumbo's Nuts was the name of that place. Get out of here. That could have gone better, but I don't think it really matters. Look at our stats for this place. They're an easy way to see it. Game totals, showdown town statistics. Well, I guess I'm in Nutty Acres anyway. Yeah, that's also... They could do that better as well. Indicate, like, how much stuff you have in any given act. Genjo speed, player's choice. This, gen this is a Genjo speed challenge. Reach the target speed shown on your speedometer to win a Genjo token. Okay. Get that contraption to the speed mark on your speedometer and I'll eat my... Okay, I haven't got a hat. So right now the challenges are very easy, so I don't think that this is going to be too much of an issue. Literally not an issue. gotta be some way to see the statistics of this level specifically. Like, that is an actual problem, if not. Oh, 
Also, I will say full disclosure, this game starts a little slow just because they want you to get comfortable with, like, different vehicles and whatnot. Which I'm not trying to excuse, like, the game should always be entertaining, but I do understand why they, um, well, don't give you everything out of the gate, let's just put it that way. So a lot of this stuff will have a purpose. It's just that I'm in Act 1 right now. And I really think I've done just about everything I can do here. I'm just trying to look for those extra notes that are available. I assume I probably have access to all of them. It's just a matter of um, finding them. I forget, is that lava? It's also really cool that you can tell each one of these is like supposed to be an artificial environment of sorts. So if you look at the edges of the world or whatever, Oh gosh, I can't get that yet. So I'm not gonna really worry about the notes um, until we get some of the later vehicles. But see how they have the artificial clouds or like, they're all screens on the outside of the level. So, Also, fake clouds in here to emulate, oh, we're not, you know, you're in this beautiful place, but it's all completely faked in a lot of weird ways. <laughs> if I go all the way up here, yes. Lava didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. I appreciate the lurk, PBJ. Hope you're doing well. Now, I know there's a way to get my vehicle back without actually going to my vehicle. Bear summon back vehicle by holding Y button. Nice, okay. Back 
it up. So I know there's supposed to be 200 notes in this area. Eight. So one annoyance I have with this game, and it really doesn't matter to any of you, but um, I had to make a completely new Xbox profile to play this game from start, like, from scratch. Because apparently your save is directly linked to your um, gamer profile, and you can't have multiple saves per profile. So, the way Xbox works, you have to make a new um, gamer tag. It also means you have to make a new account, which also means that you have to have a new email. So it was a whole process whole process and I hate that I have one more email address now I hate it oh gosh I wasn't really paying attention when I was driving many notes left. I just don't know where they'd be. I'm also doing the exact same exact thing I said I wasn't going to do and like worry about the notes. But no, it's kind of just cathartic to drive around in this game. I enjoy it. Let's see. Statistics. I'm at 141. I know there's 200 here. So I just gotta ask myself, if I were, I guess, what, 59 more notes, where would I be? Okay, I see some notes up there. That might be the rest of them. Of course, the giant question is, how do I even get up there? I just pull up. I think as long as I don't hit that rock, I'm good. bear statue about loco coco the much famous loco coco tree makes the biggest best and hardest coconut in the world only one but only get one a year okay so they're like lol 
info thingies, I guess. Ah, so close! I wonder if I can jump there. Thing is, I don't see any notes up there anyway. I'm not too worried about it. Right, okay. So my handling in the water is pretty trash right now. I don't know if I'm going to find these last couple of notes here, if I'm being honest. I think it might be time to go back to Showdown Town for right now. Okay. That's right. So I go there, release the Jiggy, and then I put it in there? Is that how it all works? When you come within range of the Jigovin, press X button to lock onto the wrench it bolt. Rotate the left stick to turn the bolt and any Jiggy stored inside, then haul them away to the Jiggy bank. Okay. Making bank. I think you've grasped the basics, so I'll have you. I'll leave you to explore. Chat and to your Jiggy account. Okay. Defend yourself by pressing the X button to swing your wrench. Did you require any tips? Okay. Bottle is the man or the mole to see. Humba gives special award of new blueprints. Humba and blueprints. Humba add blueprints to vehicle database. Okay. So she's giving me three different blueprints. Now, where's Humba at? Here we go. Good to see Banjo again. Humba Wumba set up shot across the square from useless shaman Mumbo. Humba sell vehicle parts and complete vehicle blueprints to help bear get plenty of vehicles. Medium engine sounds pretty good. Spoiler. Oh, okay. Lots of uses for mirror. Laugh at loser miles behind or build underpower scooter vehicle with mini bear. Okay. I'm gonna take this medium engine. And I might as well get the spoiler as well, wouldn't I? That one's pretty useful from what I remember. Please tell me I can just be my people here. Nope. Wrong button.
Once I get used to the controls again, this is going to go a lot smoother. See what parts I got. Standard wheel and small fuel. Okay. That's actually pretty huge right there. Getting fuel is important, to say the least. Still messing up these controls. Every single time. question is, yes, okay, so I do carry anything on the vehicle with me when I travel like that. Bulgor's Fist. I feel like I can do this. I've watched enough Celeste over the past couple days to realize how prevalent jump exploits can be. Ah. Darn it. You know what? We're not going to worry about it. Not important. This, however, is very important. That's huge. That gives me the cubes. Which are essentially like the building block slash Legos that hold all the other parts together. So... Let's go. Big brain strats. Now, real big brain strat is if I can get up here. Okay, nope. Never mind. That might just be a regular brain strat. Right now, I think it's in my best interest just to kind of stroll around town a little bit. Just because the more parts I have, the faster I'll be able to do stuff. Hey, hey, hey. 
I guess I have an 8 next to it. Oh well. Maybe there, there might be a map in this game or something like that where it's like, okay, here's where 8 is, here's where 7 is, all that stuff. Music's really good. It's hard for me not to hum along to it. I can 100% this game because I was looking at my previous playtime and it was kind of like way up there but at the rate things are going I feel like what they're 1900 it said 1900 total um, notes and I've already gotten 230 granted I know that's going to you know get a lot harder as we go along but right now I'm feeling pretty good We've already gotten 10% of the notes, if you think about it. Mm. Can I use this mumbo wrench? Does not look like it. Be some more crates I can find. I might need to go up here again. That'll be the last thing I do. I guess the only place I have to go right now is up. I should probably cash these in. If I'm being, like, logical. That's a lot of notes right there. I can probably jump there too. The thing is, if I jump now, I'm gonna lose all of these. <laughs> that I don't want to do. Oh, 
also some pretty decent platforming in here as well. Oh, no. That was my fault. Try to get cute. Not do my jumps properly. If I had to guess, there's probably going to be another box somewhere around here. Yep, another box. Go. And a jiggy. You found a jiggy tamper switch. It has helpfully massaged your jiggy score. In effect, giving you a free jiggy. I knew I should have deactivated those things. Still, points for the effort. Here to tackle your next game world? The Game Globe allowing you entry to the high-tech environment of Logbox 720 has been dispensed for from my factory. Oh, so that's a little bit of a predicament, because I have all these boxes. And I'm not going to be able to put that circular globe thing into the same thing I have my box. <laughs> Um, where did my box go? Where did my box go? Okay, it fell. This is all doable. We'll have to get that in a moment. Honestly, it's going to be fastest going this way. I'm just a mess right now. One. Two. I just need you to be cool. Be cool. So, the problem that I'm having right now is the weight distribution is off, because I have this small cart. No! Okay. Let's go ahead and turn all these in. This is starting to become a hassle. Yeah, let's just take the ones in the vehicle and move them out. Back the opposite of what I'm trying to do. So the lock-on can be a little wonky at times. Might be better if we just take these three and then come back to the fourth. 
Then again, I know this is possible. Probably just doing something wrong. Here, this is actually good. Because now I have two and two. Let me drive a little slow. I didn't mind the physics, though. Okay. We're close enough. We're just gonna take two of these. Get them over there. Then we'll go take the other two. Another box up there, too. There's so many boxes here. Okay. Close enough. Oh, what's this up? up with this. I am doomed to perch upon this windswept pinnacle until the day I hear the fabled siren's call. Oh, I have to get the horn. Go ahead and talk to Mumbo. Catch these boxes. Small ammo. Small engine. Egg gun. Cruising light. Spirit of pants. Windscreen. Bumper. Bumpers are super useful. Okay, there's two things I need to do. I need to get on top of this building, if possible. And then I need to go up and get that jiggy. That's rightfully, rightfully mine. Point. Getting up this way. Nope. We're not gonna worry about it because eventually we get a jump with this car that's gonna allow us to get up there. I want those notes, which I'm 90% sure I can get to. Not like that! Not like that! Okay. Oh, come on. Take it! Nope. Close, though. Awfully close.
we go. Now, we just have to head down this hill. Wait a second. That's right. I gotta go over here. So it's nice that we unlock this. I don't think I'm gonna go here immediately. There's still more stuff I can do with the other world. challenges quite yet. Um, 31. I'm gonna get some water, and I'll be right back. Also have these delicious, delicious sea salt caramel. Little chocolate bites. Man. Let me tell you. Oh, so the notes actually carry over between all the, the nutty acre levels. Standing next to a ticking bomb. I'm going. Snap. So he activated the bomb, and I'm going to have to drop it probably in the lava mountain thing. <laughs> I gotta take it to bottles. Oh, that is so funny. Because he actually died in the previous game. Take the ticking time bomb over to Bottles. You'll find the mole at his airfield on the side of the volcano. Probably recommend you get there before the bomb's timer runs out. Okay. Uh 
are set up slightly, but I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna take the back route and pray. Oh crap, I have to go up. Yeah, let's go ahead and restart. I messed that up. Slide up here. Nope. Barely not. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to change my strat. Apparently. Definitely can't go up that way. What way do they want me to go up, though? literally gonna have to figure out how to do this in half the time. go in here and figure out where he's at. But I might have gone too high. Oh, this tunnel sucks. the airfield, but how the heck do I get up here in the time limit they, they want? Okay, so if I go through the volcano, I think I can figure this out. So I'm going to go through the bottom of the volcano which, okay. I'm gonna have to take this right path, which ends right over here. Okay, I get it. You gotta take this path. Oh, I'm 
almost there. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. There we go. I deserve a chocolate for that. Oh no. This guy wants to race. I don't know if I have a vehicle for that. Standard wheels. Modify vehicle, that's what I want. So I'm gonna take this. And I need to make it parallel. Hatch. Flip it. Speed's pretty good. Fuel's kind of weak. I, have, I don't have any ammo. I wonder if I can add ammo to this. Weapons, ammo, and... Okay, I think that's gonna do it for right now. That's about as good as it's gonna go. Oh wow, that's fast. I'm kind of surprised how fast that is for me just adding one thing to it for real to affect speed. Checkpoints mark the course. Okay. Pass through each one and you'll eventually make it to the finish line. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. So I don't actually race him, I just have to beat his time. Also, it is freaking cold in my house right now. I'm not. I do not like this winter thing. they showed you the time requirements before your first race.
Oh, I got this. Oh, he's serious about the best of three thing. I thought that was a joke. Regardless, best of three. All I gotta do is win this one. I don't know if that's just a one-time thing or a running gag. God, that thing was super floaty. I was gonna be so mad if I lost due to a freaking cow. I don't think I'm gonna get the trophy I want. Oh, I'm so close, though. I think I am going to get it. Just barely. Okay. I think we've got one more Jiggy here. Humble Wumba. Great balls of fire. Volcano's about to explode. Do anything possible to make fiery rocks harmless and safe farm. So I'm probably gonna get... No, I have to use my vehicle. Kano has melt, belched out massive fireballs, filling coconut suffocating gas into the air. Get the rocks into water to cool them down before they ruin the season's crop. Okay. I doubt I'm going to be able to get the trophy on this one, just because I can make a much better vehicle probably to do this. Can I just push it into the water? One. Okay, so I messed up. I already messed up. I should have done the two close ones and then done the far one. 
but yeah, I'm an idiot, so that's certainly not going to happen this time. I just want to get a feel for this level anyway. So I have to do left. I think left, right, and up is the way to do it. Actually, this one's right here. If I just come at it from a slightly different angle. No. I've got to push it down the hill to the right. Now, if I can just execute to the same extent that I did last time, or slightly better, we should have this. I just realized I don't know how to fire my egg gun yet. Theoretically, I should be able to because I have ammo and I also have the egg gun. There we go. There. How do I shoot the thing? Oh, X. It must not use any ammo for real. Let me find something to kill. Kill's pretty decent. His ammo usage is just super low. Okay. I think I got everything here. I could be wrong. You've won four of my trophies, which adds another jiggy. Okay. Hmm. There's three Jinjo challenges there. Why didn't I see any of them?
Oh. One. Change my vehicle. Select. Select. There we go. I feel like there's a way to set a default vehicle. Let me see if there is a, um... No? Well, of course, first one back is the winner. Oh, that's a weird abomination of a Jinjo. You know, I'm definitely smarter than when I played this game nearly a decade ago, so I'm wondering... I'm wondering how long it really takes to 100% this game. Maybe it doesn't take 40 hours. Maybe I can do this. Leave the tree. Don't stop grabbing the tree. Ginjo <laughs> Taxi. This is a Jinjo taxi challenge. Jinjo needs to get somewhere fast. You're the bear for the job. Do it in the time allowed and you'll win the Jinjo token. Okay, cool. Somewhere a bit more fragrant. Higher and less stinky. Let's say top of a big coconut heap. Can I give him a, give him a nice taxi ride? Might not be the nicest taxi ride, but Okay. Apparently that doesn't affect me as much as I thought it did. Apparently I have trivialized that. Somehow. Alright, Jinjo 3 of 3. Jinjo Combat. If it is an old banjo, are you up for a game of Jinjo Sumo? Oh, I just had to push him out of a circle. Let's go. Let's go. Push me. 
push me. Oh, he is just lucky. Oh my, get under, get off of the bottom of my car. He's right there. No, 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 no. Oh no. Oh, this guy, yeah. Oh, this is actually a fight. This is, this is a legit fight. Come at me. Back, 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 back. No! Every time I get him to the very end of the freaking thing. Oh. Also, I could have just shot this dude. Didn't even think about that. I'm using the wrong vehicle, that's why. Wait. Fine, I can do it with this one. It's gonna be frustrating. It's gonna be a little annoying. Push, 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 push. Oh, okay. I've got to change the vehicle. I'm just going to shoot the crap out of you. This one's any better for this challenge, actually. I assume the extra horsepower is gonna take me somewhere, but maybe not. Oh my god. This guy's making me look dumb. I'm really tempted to make something for him, but I know I can do it with this vehicle. I cheats. She's a blueprint. It's 
See how you like this. Oh god! Ooh, I don't know about this vehicle. I used to like it a lot. I think it's gonna work out. Jesus, I am getting exposed right now. Bottles. I haven't talked to him yet. Are you of any use? this log guy also where's miss bottles did you enjoy being dead something cool sis show me something great trap door tower combination one stop and stop oh my gosh six thousand jiggies for that stuff I can't really do anything about right now. The ice key. Interesting. Show me something cool. I already got on top. That is so uncool. I've already done... I wonder if I can climb that pole that was up there. Hmm. Didn't think I could do that yet. Um, what we can do, what we can do, get some more jiggies. Right here. This door has an image of Grunty next to it. That means a Grunty battle awaits you. Don't be put off. I'm sure you're up to it. You may even get something special if you defeat her. Yep. Fair play good, so Mumbo gives special award of new vehicle parts. Mumbo put following parts in garage store. So, okay. Cool. Small engine. Already got a couple of those. Small fuel, which that's good. If I had two of those... That'd be even better. A propeller. And an egg gun. And some ammo. Okay. 
Okay, I got some new blueprints. Humba copter. The Humba tank. If I just talk to him, does that do anything? So just because they have a little dialogue thing over their head doesn't mean they necessarily have anything important to say. Okay. Is this the one with the Gruntilla over it? Yeah, okay, I see it now. So there's one Jiggy, one Trophy, obviously, and then two Jinjo, which we call it. So I think I'm going to try to finish this one up, and then we will um, probably wrap up for the night. Man. This is, like, not my type of game normally, but, but, it's a lot of fun. Change. Gotta find those Jinjos. <laughs> Lost the dear Globo that I count as my only friend in the world. Hey, stop laughing at me and look, will you? Okay. So I've gotta find something. Hiking over the volcano, but my Globo kept complaining about the heat until I just kicked it into the pool. Completely by accident. Get into the pool. Okay. Well, I think it's close to the volcano. That would be the logical thing. Also, why did it switch me out of my fast vehicle for the slow one? Kicks me off. something in there. Nope. I wonder what he meant kicked it into the pool, though. Does he mean the lava pool? That seems pretty mean. Like, that seems incredibly mean. I, oh, wow. I was like, oh, what pool of water did he, clip, did he kick his, um, globo friend, his snow globo friend into? But no, he tried to murder it. He tried to straight up murder this globo. Wait, no? Um... What in the world is this thing? Also, it is a little nice that he didn't try to murder his friend like I originally um, thought he might have. Do, 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 do. 
That's one Jinjo challenge, we just gotta find the other one. <laughs> Finding this Jinjo is a little annoying. I wish... This is where I wish I had the plane unlocked, because if I did, I could just kind of hover over the island. Can I, can I do this? Let's go. This thing's a little pathetic, to be honest. Oh man, but I can see the Jinjos from so far away now. Let's go. This is a Jinjo hurling challenge. Ram the Jinjo to send them as far as you can. If it travels required distance, you'll win a Jinjo token. Take it to the bingo palette. Okay. I think I'm going to have to. Shot. How do I... Modify database? Load vehicle? So what I think I'm going to do... is workshop modify parts weapons uses ammo egg gun do that. Ooh, yeah. Ammo free. This full gorge fist do. Vehicle move fast enough. The fist blows and punch things hard. Try it. Rotate it. Let me see the information on this, because I remember the bumpers being good. I think I need a block. Body? 
night. Um, uh, uh. Now, oh, 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 this sounds pretty good. Actually, I gotta modify again. see what happens. Test the track. You know what, screw it. We're gonna exit the garage. If this doesn't work, I'll just switch to a bumper. No! Not redo the Jinjo challenges? That's huh. Also another choice. That seems odd that they wouldn't allow you to at least reattempt them. Get into our banjo copter. Cogs had um, some notes in them or something. How high can I fly up? Man, this is wild. Like, I can just go up here. Let's go ahead and do this last challenge.
I'm gonna quickly check out these islands over here. I'll figure out where the other diggies are later. It's not a big deal. Especially gonna help once I have a faster vehicle. <laughs> now, what's before my eyes? A coconut of such a size. The loco coco this must be. Soon it's Grunty's wait and see. Bumbo Dumbo never shuts up about it. Apparently it's a coconut that's been growing on the island for over a hundred years. When it finally falls, they say it'll be the daddy of all nuts. If Grunty gets her hands on that nut, she'll be unstoppable. Yeah, I gotta stop Grunty's nut. How about we knock it out of her trailer before she escapes? Okay. Yeah, I think this vehicle's gonna work fine. I've got a number of things. I've got a lot of tools in my tool, tool shed point. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, we did it. Oh, I literally just said it once. <laughs> Tires on this wheel have plenty of grip, but slightly reduced vehicle speed. Slightly reduced. Okay. Not a bad trade-off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build vehicle, and I'm going to add those wheels on. Um, okay. The wheels. Complete. 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 Beat. Here, wheels. High grip. I do want to see the information. So, low, medium, very low. Whereas these are high, medium, very low. Try adding this onto the back. I think it should be okay. Let's make them parallel. Either gonna go terribly or it's gonna go great. And then having the test -a track right here makes everything so easy. So I can kind of fly my current vehicle. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so let's... 
exit, save, and I overwrite it. Man, I'm so happy I decided to give this game another shot. underwater. What the hell is that? Vehicle so fast though. Like we're just getting started and this thing is fast. It might be a little bit too fast for its own good, to be perfectly honest. the rest of the notes are on this level, but it's not a big deal. Though it seems you foiled Grunty's plans for domination in the sleepy world of Nutty Acres, I suspected you might. He was using high grip wheels, so for your victory I've awarded you a set of your own. I'll do this for any special components that she uses in battle. Your trolley has been upgraded and your splendid new wheels allow you to drive up slippery green slopes. Off you go. So now, I should be able to just drive up this, um, this hill right here. I only need 75 more between now and the end of the game, and I already have, like, at least three? Well, I guess at least two that I can get right now. Here's one. If I go to, um, Tiger, whatever his name is, I can get another one. But anyway, we, we made significant progress in the game tonight. Let's check our stats. So we got 7 out of 131. We got 5 Jiggies in the bank. Got 7 Jinjos out of 72, almost 10%. And 285 notes out of 1900. 5 out of 97 tea trophies. Two hours. And the first two hours, too. There's a lot of tutorial there. So, overall, I think things went pretty well. Um, I'm excited to spend a lot of time with this game. But we're going to call it here. Let's see if there's anybody that we can raid. You know what? I think we might just call it tonight. I think we're just going to call it tonight. And yeah, that's it, guys. I will be back most likely tomorrow with a new different game. So if you want, tune in. If not, hopefully I'll see you when I stream this again or when I'm streaming Majora's Mask again. Anyway, have a good evening. Take care. Peace.